Good evening, and welcome to Tales of the Macabre. Tonight we have three spine-chilling stories. The first one being what I like to call Hell on Wheels, a tale about a young man who encounters a thief, but then who soon gets his just deserts. So, without further ado, let's start the show. Sure is dark tonight. Roads sure are wet tonight. Looks like he might need a ride. I think I'll pull over. Come on in. That's what everyone wants to know. But in this case, your house. Well, wh what do you mean? Well, what I mean is I will be going to your house, taking all your money, and leaving you possibly dead. Not on my watch. Hey, come back here. Ah. I don't think so. No. Ah. Come here, you. Come back. Come here. All right. Now, where the hell are we, buddy? Okay, we're at my house. Okay. You're going to take me inside, all right? Okay. Okay. Where do you keep the money? Well, I got this secret stash outside in the backyard, and it's buried in a... A uh, sandbox, and we're gonna have to get a shovel to dig it out. <sighs> well, that's fine. Let's go. Here, here's a shovel. I'll, I'll tell you where it's buried. No, it's your yard. You're digging. No, I don't want to dig. You'll do as I say. All right. Whatever you say, I'll do it. So this is the spot. Yeah, it should be. Right where the stuff is buried. Uh, how deep is it? Um, it's buried pretty good in the ground. Is that it? I thought I heard something. Here, let me get a closer and look at that. Hey, you bastard. Huh? Take this. <gasps> I got him. He's dead. Oh 
tingling shale of uh, a man struggling with his sanity. This one I like to call the patient. Henry, Henry, wake up. It's time to come home, Henry. What a bizarre dream. But then again, these dreams of freedom are always bizarre. I often wonder what's on the other side of these walls. But then again, I think of it as a hopeless thought. Oh well. Ah, twitch your belly aching. They ain't never gonna let you out of here if you're acting depressed like that. He doesn't know what he is talking about. At least I'm not wearing a woman's coat. It's time to eat. <laughs> How'd you do? Ah! Ah! Welcome back, my children. I hope you enjoyed The Patient. It's one of my favorites. Anyhow, this next one, to conclude our cavalcade of schlock, is one I call Deep in the Woods, about some gentlemen who, well, take a venture deep in the woods and can't seem to find their way out. So without further ado, enjoy the show. Did you see anything? No, it seems as though uh, I can't find uh, Jenny the missing person anywhere. I've called her name, I've been, I've gone down the pathways, I've gone down the creeks, I've gone down the waterbeds. We don't know if she's alive. I mean, look at this right here. It looks as though if someone were, you know, building something to try and survive in the wilderness. Yeah. It's kind of peculiar, you know. We can't find a trace of her, no footsteps. No food, art, uh, clothing, the article, or uh, clothing, or anything, none of that stuff. Yeah, she's been down a week, too, which is a little suspicious. Yeah. Well, you know, if we don't find her by, uh, sunup, I say we call it quits. Yeah, people have been going all day. We had a whole, you know, clan of police out here and people. Yeah, I mean, I hate to have to put it that way, but... I think she's done, I just don't know where, where the hell she could be. Yeah. Let's head to, back to the campsite for now. Yeah. If it's chilling out, I need to get a little bit more stuff by the fire. Yeah. Try again tomorrow morning. Yeah. Another you know, part of a police, maybe. Maybe we could find her. Yeah, they might have better luck than we're having. Watch uh, yourself. Yeah. Uh, What the hell was that?
just see that? Yeah, I have no idea what the hell that was. I don't know, I'm starting to kind of freak out. I want to get the hell out of here. Think well, we should walk back to the house? I mean, it, it was up there, but we really have no choice. We freeze our asses off out here. We may as well. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's yeah. Man, it seems like it's taking forever. Yeah, it does. If anything, it seems like that house is getting farther away. Up the That's so strange, because, you know, we, we should very well be there by now, but we're still in the same damn spot. This is ridiculous. I know. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah. It seems almost uh, like something out of a movie or something. Yeah. A bad one. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, are you... Okay. I hate to leave him, but I, I, I don't know where the hell he is, so I'm just gonna have to get out of here. Oh, so cold. So crazy again. Let me see if I can catch up with him. Uh, excuse me. Look. Uh, it's very cold, and I, I have to find somewhere to stay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> what Welcome the hell? to hell. Uh, ah, ah! So, my children of the night, I hope you've enjoyed my three tales of madness. For now, the caretaker must bid you farewell.